Hey YouTube, Sack Guy here. I want to talk today about the one hand, uh, yeah, one hand trucker. Um, this knife originally came out um, in the late '90s. When it came out, it was at first the German Army knife. The German army issues each one of its soldiers a pocket knife and you can see the the emblem here the German Eagle and they wanted a new knife they went to Victor Knox uh, this is the one that they decided to go with now this is a civilian version and all these knives are basically the same with just one or two minor exceptions. Now, the original knives came out, and if you, as you see right here, the hole for opening the blade was basically an oval, oblong uh, affair. And on my first knife that I got, of the model it had the same thing then a few years later they came out with an oval opening they changed it up and the oval was a little bit um, better uh, or the newer rounder opening is a little easier to use to open the knife as I said there's a couple differences on these this is the original German army knife that came out as a uh, one-handed trekker the civilian version the main differences between these two is that the civilian version has toothpick and tweezers the military figured that these items were kind of small and the average soldier soldier would lose them. Now one thing that the Europeans like and I've not figured out why but they like their serrations on the front part of the blade and then the back edge inch and a half or so is a straight edge or plain edge so that's how they like it and that's how it's made my civilian version came the same way on this now the version for the Swiss Army this is what they're issued now since uh, 2008 this particular one you can look here see if you can see that it's a it says zero nine it's a 2009 now instead of having a tang stamp of Victor Knox they moved it over here to just above as you can see right there just above the, the hole and this has the serrated blade also and very highly polished Now, my knife that I carry, this is, I carry almost all the time, is a one-handed trekker, but mine's a little bit different. I've made a couple modifications. It does have the toothpick and tweezers, but as you can see, mine is a plain edge. And again, you can see where it says Victor Knox here. Now when I originally got my knife, it had the same blade uh, profile as these. The only thing was, is to me, the point, right, you can see right there, to me was a little blunt. So. I had my blade profile down a little bit just to, 
a hair taken off here and brought it down to a very fine point. As I said, I use this blade quite a bit. You can probably tell from the scratches and whatnot on the blade. One other thing that I had that I did, Night Eyes, a few years ago, and you can hopefully see right there, there's a little foam there, had this belt clip that they made. They were showing it to put on the back of a cell phone or something to clip in your pocket so it didn't fall out. I added it to my knife, got a pocket clip on it, slides in my pocket, comes out real easy. One thing I do like is it's got this little lever. See if you can see that. It's got a little claw that'll clip and in order for this to pull out I have to push that down and pull. Now, all the knives are, other than the blade being profile being a little bit different, all the knives are the same, have the same tools on it. Wood saw, and again, I use this quite a bit in the yard, trimming bushes and whatnot. A locking screwdriver makes a nice little pry bar, light pry bar, and look right here, you have to that locks open also has the can opener on it this does not lock it's got the small flat head that can also be used in the Phil uh, number two Phillips can opener and then on the back side you have a t-handle Phillips and an awl along with the toothpick and tweezers. One thing that I'm a little disappointed, Night Eyes does not make this any longer because there's a couple other knives that I wouldn't mind putting, <laughs> if I could find them, putting those on. This is my favorite large knife at the moment. Not at the moment, at the present time. Um, I really like this knife there's just so many things I can do with it it's very handy um, I like the the locking aspect of it and it's still basically when you go to open it it's not a as easy to open as say a cold steel or Kershaw or any of the new uh, one-handed opening not newer one-handed opening knives it still has that slip joint design uh, makes it a little bit harder to open uh, mine opens up a little bit easier than a lot because I tend to use a lot and play with it opening and closing but I really enjoy this style of knife uh, gives you the function of a multi-tool but also a lock, large locking blade. Very handy field knife uh, for the average uh, person or soldier. I mean, you got your screwdrivers, your uh, can opener, and so on. So that's it. Just wanted to do this quick review of the Victorinox uh, Swiss Army Knife. Uh, before I forget the specs on it, the blade is three and a quarter inches long. It's an eighth of an inch thick. The overall length of the knife is seven and five eighths. The weight is right at four and a half ounces. It's a little bit heavier than a lot of um, modern knives, but what you have in it makes it very, very functional fits in the po pocket uh, pretty good uh, again I clip mine in so I don't have to worry about losing it and that's it hope you have a good day and remember always be prepared